What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you the best tweaks of the week. Now I know I've been MIA the past week or so, and that's because I've been moving and getting everything set up, but I still wanted to make this video for you guys because there are a lot of new tweaks out, so I want to get you caught up with everything that's out. So this is going to be a little bit longer than the usual best tweaks of the week. There's quite a few tweaks in this video, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first tweak I want to show you guys that you can probably already see is better five column home screen. So you can see exactly what it does is it gives you five columns right there on your home screen. So that's going to give you the ability to put 30 applications right there on your home screen, not including the dock right there. So you can see if we swipe over, you can see kind of what it looks like with a different number of applications on each page. And I think it looks really nice. I've actually been using this for a couple of days now. So definitely check this out. It's a free one that you can download in Cydia. Now you also notice down here that I have another tweak that allows me to put five icons right there in the dock and that is better five icon dock now not only does it give you five icons right there in the dock and you do this just you know how you would usually do it just drag it in there just like that once you put it into wiggle mode you can drag it right in there and not only does it work in portrait mode but if you have an iPhone 6 plus then it's going to work just like that so it's going to work on landscape as well as portrait mode so that's definitely a huge plus so definitely check out this tweak as well and keep in mind that you do have to add a repo for both of these tweaks and I'll be sure to put that in the link in the description below as well as on the screen next up we have a tweak called Netflix plus plus now if you're like me and you really love Netflix then you're going to enjoy this tweak because most of the time when I'm looking for something on Netflix I spend more time actually looking for something to watch than actually watching something and that can be a problem so what this tweak does is give you the ability to help you make a decision so let's just say that we were going to look for some movies so if we were going to watch uh, Hunger Games so if we tap on that you can see that we actually get trailers right here right there built into the Netflix application so if you want to check out a video uh, and you want to check out the trailer as well before you actually watch something then you can just tap on that and it should go ahead and load up and you can see that it's going to show you the trailer right there so that's a huge plus and really is going to help you cut down the time in which you're looking for something on Netflix now this doesn't work on every single movie or TV series but you can see that it works on quite a few let's just go ahead and tap on this one see if it's there for Avengers I'm sure it is yeah you see you got two trailers right here so definitely check out Netflix plus plus if you're a Netflix user here we have a tweet called pull to respring so if you guys don't have an easy way to respring your device when you need to then you definitely need one and this is a very good one to check out so this is a free tweak and all you need to do to use it is open up your settings application and be at the top of your settings app and then just start to pull down so all you need to do is pull down and you can see that that dial starts to fill in and then once you pull down about right there then it's going to respring your device so it's really as simple as that all you need to do is open up the settings app and then pull down to respring and then it respring your device so we'll go ahead and wait for this to actually load back up just to show you guys that it does work so you can see right there next up we have a tweak called force good fit so if you guys have an iPhone 6 or an iPhone 6 plus I highly recommend checking this out because it's going to allow you to change the resolution of applications that aren't supported for the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 plus so one of those applications as you can see right here is winterboard so you can see what that looks like it just looks bad it looks really blown up and the way that you can fix this is with force good fit so if we go into our settings here and we scroll down to force good fit we're gonna tap on that and then we're going to enable an application so here are all the applications and this isn't going to work on every single application but it will work with a lot of them so let's go down here to winterboard we're gonna to toggle that on and we're gonna go back and just to refresh your memory of what this looks like very blown up so now let's go ahead and go back into the settings here and we're going to respring our device now that we've enabled force good fit alright so now that we're resprung we'll go ahead and swipe over and unlock and then you can see right here that we have winterboard so if we tap on that and open it up you can see that the resolution has changed and it looks a whole lot better than that blown up version that we had previously so definitely check out force good fit this is another free tweak and it helps you support applications for the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 plus next up we have a tweak called CC background now if you guys were jailbroken on iOS 7 then you probably have heard of this tweak but basically what this tweak allows you to do is add an image to your background on your control center so if we tap on this you can see that you do need to enable it right there with that toggle and then you can select your image so if we tap on select image you can see we can scroll down here and check out let's just check out some wallpapers right here this album so let's just say we wanted to select this picture to be my background for my control center 
Now you also have a landscape mode right here. So we can toggle that on for image on the screen or no image in landscape. We're gonna leave this toggled on. So now all we need to do is tap done and it's going to respring our device and then we should have that image on our control center. All right, so now that we're resprung, we go ahead and unlock and then you can see if we pull up on the control center that we have that nice background image that I selected right before we resprung. So I think it looks really nice and it also works in landscape mode because I toggled that on. So you can see if I pull that up that we have this in landscape mode as well. So I've actually been using this for a few days as well. Even though it's an older tweak, since I'm using it, I figured I'd show you guys that it is working with iOS 8. Next up, we have a tweak called Untethered Hey Siri. So if you guys aren't aware, in iOS 8, if you plug in your device and then you say, Hey Siri, then it actually will prompt Siri. Well, this tweak actually allows you to not have to have your device plugged in in order to activate Siri with your voice. So you can see right here, if we jump into our settings, all you need to do is go into general and then we're gonna tap on Siri right here. So it's actually built into the Siri uh, settings panel right here. So you have allow Siri. So you gotta make sure that that is toggled on and then all you have to do is tap on always. So at this point on, once I get out of this, it's going to be listening for me to say, hey Siri. As you can see right there. So then you can just, you know, ask her whatever question that you want to or set up a reminder or an appointment or anything like that. And then it's going to work. So that's really all that this tweet does. Keep in mind that it is going to take up quite a bit more battery than it would otherwise. So definitely keep that in mind. Next up, we have a tweet called Lock Glyph. And this is actually pretty cool. So if we go to the lock screen, you may have seen it when I was respringing my device. But if we go to our lock screen, you can actually see the fingerprint right there. And this is actually the Touch ID Apple Pay fingerprint that you get right there. So it's going to give you that animation when you unlock your device. So you can see if I go ahead and try to scan my finger, it gives that little animation and then a little check mark and then opens up the device. So I just think it's kind of cool. I've been using this uh, actually just today, but something I'm going to be keeping on my device uh, for a little while anyways. All right, guys. Well, that's all I have for today. I do plan on doing some single tweak videos for you guys as well so I can get into a little more depth of each of the tweaks because I know some of you guys like that. But let me know in the comments below what your favorite iOS 8 tweak is right now. I'd like to see what you guys are using on your device and which ones you like the best. So let me know that in the comments below and I plan on reviewing those. All right, guys. As always, if you enjoyed this video, then please hit that like button. It really helps me out. And of course, if you want to see more iOS 8 jailbreak tweak videos, as well as everything Apple, then make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.